Hello friends, I'm Santosh Sharma. I'm here again in front of you. I'm from Technical Scoop. That's my YouTube channel and techguru4u.com is my website. And I'm here again with a new topic which I have chosen from Iro. Okay, so the topic is like the order of braces, how you have to put the braces if you are putting them up and down, what would be the impact, if, is there any impact or not. When I was studying Iro, to be very frank, I was really messing up with these little, little things. If you're already experienced, then of course you know about that. But uh, when I was studying, I really didn't get any any topic uh, in a Google or any blog in a Google. So I'm, I thought, okay, I should make a video and share with you all, guys. So let's continue. Before continue, I would like to request you, please like my video if it is really helpful to you. Share with your friends and give your positive comments so as to motivate me and I will get another videos in future. Okay, great, let's continue. So here is my computer's screen and first of all what we will do we will create a simple i rule and we will add it in a virtual server and uh, first we will check if our that i rule is working fine and if it will work fine then we will try to change the syntax i mean we will try and try to make braces up and down something like that and we will see if it will make any impact or not okay so i will name it my test uh, i rule for braces, I can say, bracket, braces, okay, whatever. Uh, every I rule start with when command, and after when command, you, if you will type anything, like I just typed a C, and I have a lot of events, uh, so you can decide which event you want. So all those events, whatever, whichever event you want to start, every event should be in a capital letter. Okay, so that's another great hint I'm giving to you. And after, that you have to type this curly brace you're opening it what i do when i type this curly brace i also immediately close it okay because i sometimes forget it so if suppose if we are not doing it we can see later if i forget it or not so i'm trying to do if and then again curly braces i also do the same thing here if i start it i just open uh, close it so you can also do that okay so i just want to add a command and command if, or if you are doing adding any command you have to type it in a scare braces so i am saying ip okay it's coming already let's select client address and i'm saying okay equals to so these are operators you can you have many operators actually equals you can add a contains you can add reg, regex so match or you have many okay in our case like I, I will say equals if the client address is equal to this one. Okay, and then I will say, okay, if this is the client address, then you can assign some pool. I'm also making some mistakes and we will see if we will get some error. Okay, so if this is the client address, what should happen? Pool should be assigned, which pool? So if you are saying pool should be assigned, then again, you have to put it in a braces. And then I'm saying, okay, which pool? I need to see the name of the pool because that's very long name so i will copy it so this is the pool okay so i will copy this and i will put this pool name here okay and i will also say else if this is not uh, matched then again i will start this brace and i will close immediately uh, so i should not forget if our is not matched then match it to the locking pool okay that's it now let's try to finish it and luckily we got a lot of errors Okay, so let's see one by one, parse, missing close brace. Okay, so I always uh, miss close brace. So I use the funda to use, uh, I mean, I whenever I open a brace, I always close the brace. Okay, let's try to see if we, mm, we have decreased our error. Wow, nice. So extra tokens at the end of the expression. So it is saying, yeah, it has given you hint. Right, so equals, when you're typing equals, you have to give something like these, these, uh, I don't know what is the English name for that. <laughs> I think colon. So it just typed here, okay. I mean the comma on the head. So let's see if now it will be okay. Wow, so our I rule is okay, perfectly fine. And I will choose one of the virtual server. Actually, let's check this virtual server. And this virtual server is having IP ending with 53. And we will go to the resources. And in resources, I'm not giving any pool to it. And I'm only giving it 
I rule. Okay, so we'll just uh, remove this I rule I was doing for another purpose. And this is our test I rule braces. We will do braces thing later. This is just a basic I rule we have created. And what you can do, you can, of course, it is updated. Uh, I will just click here in the I rule and I will see the statistics. Right now, there are total zero, failure zero. If you are lucky, we will not get any failure. Let's try. So I have here my Mint machine, very beautiful machine. So it's HTTPS colon colon 20.20.20.53. Okay, so wow, I got the page. Okay, let's see if something we got here. Refresh, so we got two execution. Wow, nice. Now, the practical is uh, when I started studying, I was really confused with this, this thing, braces, okay? So what you can do, what we, what, what we will do here, we will just put braces up and down and we will see, uh, does this really make uh, any uh, wrong thing? Actually, whenever you will see some eye rules, they just put this brace, example eye rule, if you will see in a Google, they place this brace here and then they place this brace here Okay, so I really in the starting, I was not able to understand the concept why this is like this because it confused me. It was making more sense to me when I'm keeping them like this. Okay, so I'm putting this complete command inside the braces and also in else I'm putting this complete command in the braces and the same I'm doing it for it. this one and this I'm starting here and I'm closing it. This is what makes logic to me. Okay, but what if you will just spoil this, okay? Just make it like this way, okay? Just also make it below. And uh, let's try to spoil up to that much and see if we get any error. Okay, so we get a lot of errors. So the thing is, I think I will remove the space, okay? So let's see. Yeah, uh, you don't need to add space, okay? So I'm just adding uh, brace in next uh, line, okay? So um, let's see if it is hitting something. So right now it is two. Let's try to refresh it again and see if, where is the refresh button? Now it's four. Maybe you are thinking, okay, why you haven't deleted the connections? Okay, so we are deleting the connections and we can initiate again. Also, I will, I will also delete the uh, this one. I will reset it. Okay, nice. Correct. So we don't have any execution. Let's go here and try to execute. It worked. And refresh it. And you have to execution, successful execution, no failure. Let's try to do a couple of more things, okay? So I will say, okay, just like this way, and this also like this, this also like this, and this also like this. Let's see if I'm spoiling anything. This also like this, and this also like this, okay? I never done it before, I'm just doing it in front of you. Let's see if it works. Wow, no error at all. Okay, so no error. I'm just doing it again. Go to statistics and just try to reset. Okay, done. Nothing is there. And also just delete this session. Okay, and now go here. Wow, it's working, right? And if you want to see if it has hit to your eye roll, not of course it will hit to our eye roll. I only have one virtual server with that IP address. And in that virtual server, I haven't added, uh, what do you say, uh, that uh, pool. So you can see here execution two, you can refresh many times, okay? And your execution will keep on increasing, right? Four. So what you have learned today, like if you will see fancy things like your curly brackets are up and down here and there, that depends upon different people. People like different way to create the rule. But like if I will show here client, it's a very good thing. Like it gives you hint. So client accepted. And uh, yeah, I want to be here. I want to, yeah, I want to show you this thing. So this is the example here. I'll just copy this. 
Mm. So, yeah, it is. It is nice. Uh, that's not giving me what I want to show you. Maybe here. Uh, uh, mm. Yeah, this is what I want to show you. Just let's copy this. Yep. So I'm just replacing it. So you can see here, this is the bracket here and this is the bracket here. So this is how you will get maximum time when you will see in Google. I don't like this way. I just like this. I want to put it in the braces because this is how I understand because you can make a mistake in the braces. So what I do, if when I start, if I just put braces, I will try to show you again what I like. Maybe you will also like my way client underscore accepted. Okay, always capital. Okay, and then I know when you end this, you have to start the brace and I close it immediately. Okay, and then you start if, then I know if, when you start if, you have to start the curly brace. And if I'm writing a command, I have to use care and then IP, then client address. Whatever you will start with IP, it will always be capital and then client address, what you want to achieve. I want to achieve equal to 2020.52, 252 actually. Okay, and when you're typing IP, you mention it in this code. Okay, and then I need to define the action. Okay, I put it in curly bracket pool, test pool, that's a very big name actually. Let me see if it's still copied now. So I will just copy it, okay, like this way. And else, I know again, it has to be having a curly braces. So I just open and close immediately. And then I say, okay, if above is not matched, then match it to the log, log as a pool. And so many spaces I have given, I removed that and I will, sorry, I update it. It's very down, showing very down. Okay, so that's it. This is how I create my uh, I rule, just to avoid any confusion with the braces. Okay, so I hope you like the video. Please share it with your friends and do comment. That will motivate me if you really like this video. Okay, so if you want to have uh, F5 trading, so this is my website, techguru4u.com. And you can go here, courses, F5, LTM. And these are our modules and they have some chapters. Of course, when I will start uh, giving you training, they will be more than what stuff is mentioned here. And you will also get recorded videos. You will be having your own portal in my website and you can always go through your recorded videos and that's, that's uh, how it works. Okay, you can contact me if you want to go take a training. This is my calling number, this is my email ID and this is here my WhatsApp. Okay guys, bye. Have a nice day.